Sorry, there's layers upon layers of horrific, so horrific you wickedness here. Sorry, I haven't finished yet. I am. You're, you're interrupting. I am. Now let me let me give. Let, now, what is the crime that these people had committed? Let's look at their sin. Let's look at their wickedness. Because maybe, as she's implied, they deserved it. The babies deserved to be slaughtered. Maybe the children deserved. Because the passage says what their crime was. Let me tell you what, and look it up. I really urge you to get a copy of the Bible and look up 1 Samuel 15 and read it in context for yourself. So what does the Bible say? The Bible, you see, you're being very rude now. You're, you're supposed to be paying attention. I am listening to everything you're No, you're talking to your friend. So coming back to the passage, I've got my front to the camera. I'm talking about the camera. They can move their camera, surely. You don't need to literally go like this, do you, Paul? Because that is rude by anybody's standards. Anyway, as I was saying, what is the crime, what is the sin these babies and women are committed, according to the Bible? I know, I've heard this can, can, can I? No, but other people haven't you heard it. We just put it back to me. I didn't put my back to you, you I faced the camera. Did. Did, don't take offence so easily. I you, haven't you're taken very, If you're very thin-skinned, very thin-skinned. Right. She's very... <laughs> anyway, can I continue, please? Anyway, you're interrupting you, again. Okay. So what is the... sermonising to the cameras. That's what you're doing, you're not here to have a conversation right. with me. Uh, I'm now going to address the cameras because she's just, she's tempting to derail what I'm saying. Okay, it is so embarrassing. It is so embarrassing. She doesn't want you to hear. What is the crime, the sin, the wickedness that the Amalekites had committed according to 1 Samuel 15? It was this. They didn't want me to say. Look at the howls of protest. The howls of protest. The howls of protest. Let him show you that you're all shut, 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 shut this monkey here. I will show you that. Shut this monkey here. Do you want to hear your... I'm just... Shut racism from this monkey. I'm a black man. How can I... Racism. Anyway. So, I would be short if I could get a word in edgeways. Can I speak? So, for the umpteenth time, what is the... You are literally Shut up! Asleep. You are literally Shut up! Dude, 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 let him be, otherwise... Uh, so, I just want to wrap up here, if I may, explain to you the reason why her God, the God of love, remember, who chastises the Muslims for not having a loving God, even though the Quran says that he's a God of love a number of times. What is this loving God command? Why does he order these people to be exterminated? According to the Bible itself. Because it says, if you look at 1 Samuel 15, their ancestors, 300 years earlier, fought against the Israelites when they were coming out of Egypt, to the exodus from Egypt. So their distant ancestors, three centuries before, committed certain crimes. I'm not bothered whether or not they're true or not. So therefore, three centuries later, the women, the children, the babies, all of them, everyone must be slaughtered. Now I have to ask you, I have to ask you this question. Is this a loving God? Is this a God of justice? Is this a God of mercy? Is this a God of... So long as it's not done deliberately. So you Well, I'm trying to finish, but unfortunately... No, I'm talking to a wider audience. I know. Sorry if that upsets you. So, um, so uh, anyway, so as I was saying, being killed, so in the in the Quran, Noah, uh, it's okay to kill women and children. No, it's not. As long as they are No, 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 no. This is a lie. This is a lie. This is a lie. No, it's not. Now, the 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 Quran is clear that you cannot. Just to conclude, can I have some quiet, please? Can I have some quiet? I'm trying to display. All right. Dude, no, 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 no. Can I finish? Jesus made you a slave. Now you're dude, speaking the Quran. Please, please. Can I finish? Let me finish. In the Quran, there are explicit instructions not to kill non-combatants. You must not kill anyone who does not attack you first. Do not be the aggressor, it says in the Quran. Do not kill innocent people, it says in the Quran. But her God, the God of love, the God of justice, commands the slaughter of women, children and babies. And there are many other occasions when genocide, genocide is...
is yeah, like you did. Uh, there are many occasions, you see, she didn't like it. She didn't like it. Christians, I'm sorry you don't like it. I'm so sorry. It's not your position to judge whether you like it or not, dear. So, to finish, the, the Bible is a far, far more violent book than the Quran. The Quran endorses genocide of whole nations over and over. The Quran says, do not be the aggressor. Do not kill non-combatants. Do not start wars. The Bible is the opposite. So the God of love here is a myth. There is no God of love in the Bible. It's a cherry-picked, cherry-picked verses that ignore everything else. All right. Thank you. Over to you. Right. If anybody's still awake out there, it's oh, that's rather rude of you. Okay. I can be as rude as I like. Oh. You well, then why are you why are you complaining then? Now trying to talk into my why are you complaining? Mind? I'm not complaining. Yes, you were. You complained, you complained about me. Yes, I do. Yeah. What's the matter with that? Is that it? Yeah. Okay. If you can honor our sense of military and tradition to all times, on the occasion of the battle we make, then yet the enemy is not with them.